the psycho boy himself and fodder making his way to the ring, kendo stick in hand. I just genuinely do not like fodder. So ladies and gentlemen, my, my announce partner, Mr. OMG James Ryan, two weeks ago won the AML Future Stars Championship from <laughs> JAC. <laughs> and I unfortunately came up on the short end of the stick when I took on the gentleman in the ring right now, Fodder. Cheer it up, man. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop talking about Fodder. We're gonna focus on this man right here. Your NWA junior heavyweight champion, the last bastion, Colby Carino. Another champion that is working through injury, ladies and gentlemen, in other in other places and in other matches. Colby Carino had to recently get 10 stitches inside and out, placed into that elbow from a major laceration from a barbed wire table. But here he is today, live, AML, eye for an eye, defending the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship. But is father a junior heavy, heavyweight? I mean, brother is Jack like a brick house. Like, is he? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. NWA must have sanctioned it, so Fodder had to have weighed in and met the weight requirement for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. I don't know if there's a weight requirement, age requirement, but Fodder obviously meets it. I got to give it up to Colby Carino, man. Even though he is the Junior Heavyweight Champion, you think of smaller individuals in stature and size, but my man is packing on the size. He looks like a million dollars, but he stands across the ring from another one that looks the exact same. I'm excited to see this. You know, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not sure how big of a deal AML wrestling is, White Mike earlier probably shouldn't have wrestled. Absolutely should not have. 100% injured, shoulder basically hanging off and he had to come out and wrestle and defend his title Colby Carino elbow cut open staples uh, you know stitches you name it but it's such a big deal to him to be out here in front of this crowd in front of AML wrestling that they they're throwing caution to the wind and they're wrestling hurt because it is truly that big of a deal to be on the AML main roster why is this belt so heavy oh, my god you want some of me? Oh. It's eight and a half pounds of gold, brother. Brother, it really is. Shout out to Colby Carino. I hope it's still yours by the end of it. Nice headlock takeover through the struggle of the lockup by these two. Brother, we've been standing for a minute. I got to sit down right here as we start to pick the action back up. Junior heavyweight champion on championship on the line. Fodder with a two count there with just a real quick roll up. Now he's fighting for a reversal here. Oh. Nice He's got the first. army with a little go behind. Yes, he is. Nice hammer lock, switching it over straight into the headlock by Fodder. Showing his wrestling acumen. Kobe Carino said, eh, eh, been here before, shoots him off, takes a big shoulder tackle by Fodder. Fodder's a truck. I he mean, is. The, the guy is just a truck. Nicely brought by Kobe Carino. Huge, huge forearm. My God, where's the tater and the biscuit with that one? Nice octopus standing in the middle of the ring. Pretty much working on so many, just a different variation of an abdominal stretch. Speaking of, <laughs> like I said, it's almost like you've done this before. Like I said, don't like to toot my own horn, toot toot. Uh -huh. Fodder working out of it. Oh, oh, nice reversal by Colby Carino, good counter. I got into an Olympic slam kick up. Going in for the inverted senton by Colby Carino. Bam! Hits it by the junior heavyweight. This is where the young man wants it. And fought a real quick to get out of the ring. No oh. timeouts there, fella. Colby Carino, son of the legendary Steve Carino. Been in this business longer than he's probably been alive. If that makes any bit, bit of sense. Nice super kick. Caught all the jaw and teeth off of fodder. Trying to get these fans rocking and rolling, maybe going for that front flip senton to the outside, and he hits it. Can you tell I've watched the Colby Carino match once or twice? Ladies and gentlemen, has been convention center to their feet. Man, Fodder's in a bad way right now. Begging off Colby Carino, but Colby's not letting up. Not Huge <laughs> chop. You can't let up when the championship is on the line, especially the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship that sits directly in front of me in my commentary table. Took a little bit of ink off of Fodder's chest with that chop. He's got a lot. 
Fodder's just absolutely psycho. So as soon as he gets the space that he needs, he's gonna try something dastardly to get this match rocking and rolling back into his favor. No. Oh boy. Oh ah. my God! I don't. <laughs> we heard that all the way over here. <laughs> Kobe Carino literally just broke his hand. Flat on the knuckles, in the palm of your hand, and then Fodder staying on it, slamming it on the hardest part of the ring which is that apron. That's where the steel barrier, pretty much the structure of the ring really is. Folks, if I can get distri describe that for you. Imagine playing baseball in 40 degree weather and hitting the ball off the end of an aluminum bat. That's what Colby Carino just, w just experienced when he hit that ring post. A jolt all the way up through his shoulder blade. James is over here just, he can feel it right yeah, now. I really can. The noise that that makes. You know it hurts. Like I said, Fodder, as soon as he gets enough space and opportunity, he's going to do something to make sure that he can keep this match in his favor. The guy is absolutely built like a brick house, and he's psycho mentally. He's a couple fries short of a Happy Meal. Maybe a large. Come on, Kobe. Maybe a large. How about a turnbuckle? See, I mean, listen to him. He's calling his shots before he hits it. Eight ball corner pocket. Kobe, huh? Haley Ray, I need a coffee like that. Rake in the eyes across the top. Oh boy, am I familiar with that. Just a rug burn and just taking the skin off of the forehead of Colby Carino. That stuff burns. His tongue looks disgusting. It's all white and like weirdly ashy. He's like it's dry. As he just sits there and chokes the life out of Colby Carino. You know, Fodder knows he's got five, man. Like he's he's just staying on Colby. Huge million dollar man fist drop. That's something you don't see every day, and I really like that. Raking the head across the rope and then hitting him with a million dollar fist drop. Very, very nice by the challenger and fodder. Nice snug chin lock here by Fodder. Yeah, referee needs to check this, check that, make sure it's not a choke. But he's using actually the left arm of Colby Carino as he battles back with two shots to the gut, goes to the hits, the ropes, fodder right back with a back elbow. Every, every time he applies pain and punishment, he laughs. It's sadistic. It's disgusting. Fodder being super smart here, staying on Colby, pandering to the crowd for just a minute and then running over and getting the cover. Colby Carino has to battle back. Nice cravat into a snap mare. Laying him back down, lining him up perfectly for a leg drop. Beautifully placed in the center of the ring. We've seen it win multiple times. You got to hook the leg of a champion, man. He's got a lot more riding on this than you do. As Colby Carino's like, nah, dog, nah, that ain't going to be enough. You're going to have to do a little bit more to beat me. Fighter just agging him on. The fighter knows that. He's seen this man take light too. Oh my God, beautiful shots to the elbow. Oh my God, huge whip to the buckle. The fighter put a little bit of rear end into that one. There's a little bit of padding there, ladies and gentlemen, but it is all steel cable and joints. And just, there's just this large circle thing I don't know what it's called all right but it hurts because it pokes out a little bit more than everything else so if they hit you square in the middle of the back that is going to mess with your spine and your vertebrae it is not a comfortable feeling just think about how many matches people have won by taking the turnbuckle cover off right and driving their opponent's head George into that the turnbuckle. Steel is the first person right. that comes to mind as fighter locks on a rear naked choke standing sleeper here Colby Carino trying to make some space with that buckle and it just does not work as Fodder is not wrapping around the huge biceps around the throat and the esophagus of Colby, Colby Carino. Colby making that space, huge shotgun drop kick, bouncing the back of the head of Fodder off of that bottom buckle. Nice Swanton. Cannonball. Swanton style cannonball into the center of the ring. Colby Carino says, this is where I want the match. This is where I need it. 
climbing to the top rope, looking at the fans. Huge double stop roll through off of the top. Hook of the leg. Ooh, two and three quarter fodder out the back door. Fodder trying to trying to pick himself back up off of that double stomp, trying to regain the air that was just lost from the double size tens of Kobe Carino. Kobe getting a little momentum behind him. The crowd is starting to swell. Takes the arm, looking for a whip. Fodder with a nice reversal. Here we go, going for a sunset flip. No, sir. Oh my God, what a Jumping kick up knee. There. Going for the cutter, bang, he got him. New champ, new champ. Fodder, hook of the leg, cover, new champ. No, sir, Kobe Carino. Oh, wow, skull crushing finale by the psycho. Center of the ring, little bit of stroke. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. I really, ladies and gentlemen, I thought that was it, and so did Fodder. I've never seen a three count, so uh, something so oh. close to a three count I'm in my life. Giving, I'm not giving it to you. If you, if you want it, you gotta come get it. Yeah, you do, brother. I'm not getting up for nobody unless it's George. Fodder taking the belt into the ring. He's about ready. Fodder is trying to like, brother, if you want to kick out of everything I got, I got something you won't kick out of. Yeah, security, get up, security. Fodder with psycho this that he is, going for the kendo shot. No, he hits the referee, it's Kobe Ducks. Kobe Ducks and knocks out. Oh my God, Whoa. Orange Crush in the center of the ring. Kobe trying to grab that kendo stick. He bounced him right off, it, right to his feet. Oh my God, home run. Catches him for the DDT. Huge red welt on the back of Fodder. Read him and weep, one, two, three. Boy, you want to talk about them dastardly tactics backfiring on you. I'm telling you, the psycho boy trying to. <laughs> Referee Dalen Kingsley. Don't... No idea where he's at right now. <laughs> That's the fastest I've seen Dalen get up after taking a shot. I mean, after month, after month, after taking this. They're whipping sometimes. He's starting to get used to it, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, still your NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion, Colby Carino. Fodder, you got to come with a better game plan than that, buddy.